Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Steve Larson, and you're listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Welcome to Sales Funnel Radio, where you'll learn marketing strategies to grow your online business using today's best internet sales funnels. And now, here's your host, Steve Larson. What's up, guys? Hey, I hope you're doing great. Um, it is a Monday morning, uh, which frankly might be kind of weird, but it's actually my favorite day and time of the week. <laughs> Call me workaholic, but uh, but it's true though. Um, so I wake up on Mondays just to smiling, and I jump out of bed, and I'm so eager to get started on the week. And uh, I know that's weird, but uh, whatever, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so I thought I'd just tell you. Uh, so, anyways, it's Monday morning. Um, in about an hour and a half here, my my wife and I, along with our two little girls, we are going to the doctor. And we're going to find out what the gender of our new little baby is, and uh, we're very very excited. And uh, so we have two two little girls already. I think it's going to be another girl, and I think I'll be the only guy uh, in in the house here, which is fine by me. And uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll see what it, we'll see what it is, and we'll I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. Uh, but we're super excited about that. So anyway, I thought I'd just throw a quick podcast out to you guys because um, I wanted to um, quickly just let you know about something that I've been implementing lately um, that I'm really excited about. And honestly, my customers are too. So you guys know, I mean, obviously, so I, this is starting my, let's see, what is this? One, two, three. This is beginning my fourth week alone of self-employment and things have gone very, very well. Uh, we've done almost 70,000 in sales and uh, um, we haven't really even optimized stuff yet. You know what I mean? Like we're, I'm only selling once a week, really, um, and uh, on my webinar, a live webinar every single week, and uh, I will plan to be doing the live webinar every single week for probably quite some time because it's been kind of interesting. The first few times I've done it, I, I haven't changed anything from one script to the next, but especially this last one, I felt it. I felt where I needed to make the changes. I felt where, where the lag was. So I'm excited. I'm excited to go and I'm going to start switching those things out. But um, um, it's been interesting to to go through. I mean, there's, there's like a billion things I got to get done still. I mean, obviously, I mean, who, who doesn't have a big to do list? Right. But I, I've got this huge whiteboard over here on the side and it's just chock full of stuff. And it's just uh, this is loaded. It's loaded with tons of things that I need to be getting done and do. And um, <clears throat> and and I. Anyway, the whole thing's been a lot of fun, but it's been neat to go through and kind of prioritize stuff. So number one priority for me, obviously, has been just to sell. Sell, 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 right? And uh, you guys know I am a huge advocate of the book Ready, Fire, Aim, which talks about stage one, zero to one million. That's the only thing that matters, just sell stuff. And uh, so I've been selling things like crazy, um, been fulfilling on them like crazy, and I've been mostly just fill, uh, um, focusing on the actual... Um, the actual course itself that I've been selling, and 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 the and all the all, all the little mini things, and I mean, it's been a ton of fun to go to go through and do that. A um, lot of work, holy smokes, you know. And I uh, when I created the Secret to Masterclass program uh, inside of Russell's Two Comma Club Coaching, it was it was from stuff that already existed, and I was just organizing it, um, and that's kind of how I made the first pass of content. And then what I did though, was I came back around as I was hearing people's feedback and then I went back through and I created all the extra courses and extra things and extra trainings that were needed to kind of plug the holes in inside people's understandings just to make sure that uh, all the bases were covered. You know what I mean? So that's kind of what I've been doing this first time is I've been going through and, and I've been building it from scratch raw just the very beginning uh you know zero to 100 but then i go back through after i see people going through it and all their feedbacks and all their questions and all that's the reason i do live q and a's with them every single week is so that i can go through and see like okay they're all still struggling with x they're all still struggling with y or z you know what i mean and then i go back through and i do a second round of filming i do a second round of product creation and i go plug in all the holes and i go plug in and that that's exactly what's been going on here so um i've been um uh, and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. So it's a ton of work, but my gosh, it's, it's a lot of, I mean, <laughs> I was on, uh, um, I think I told this to you guys, I can't remember if I did or not, but I was on stage, uh, uh, speaking at two different events this last week, back to back, which is kind of nuts. Um, and this guy walks up to me afterwards and he goes, <clears throat> he goes, that was fantastic. First of all, and I said, thank you. You know, I said, thanks. That's awesome. And, and then he goes, then he goes, 
I was sitting there though, and I was trying to figure out the word for you. I was like, what do you mean? He's like, the word that describes you, there's something about you, and I'm, I don't know what it is. And I was like, okay, what is it? And he goes, I, I, it took me a while, but I think I figured it out. You're giddy. I was like, you think I'm giddy? He said, yeah. He's like, you're 100% giddy. Are you kidding me? You're standing on this, you're doing this. It is so easy to see that you love what you're doing. And he's like, and it's refreshing. Thank you. It's so freaking awesome to watch that. And I was like, eh, that's nice of you. appreciate that. And, um, He's like, I'm serious though. It's it's refreshing me because most people get up and they're either sick of what they're doing or they just got one trick or tip and that's kind of it. Or he's like, it's so clear and obvious that you love what you're doing. And I was like, that actually was some really cool feedback. I'm glad that he said that. That was nice of him. I never consider myself as giddy about what I do. Maybe I'd change, maybe I'd choose a different word. <laughs> but but I'm having fun with it and it's it's been great. Hey, so um, <clears throat> I've been getting a, a lot of requests lately about. Um, uh, um, you know what? Let me go ahead and I'm, I'm just going to read this thing first and, and then I'll, then I'll lead into that. Um, so I, I'm holding a book. Um, this book is fantastic. Uh, I would, I would, I would read this book if I was you, if I was, if I was trying to be a funnel builder, um, if I was trying to be an author, speaker, coach, consultant, if I was in the SaaS world, if I was, uh, if I was definitely B2B, um, anyway, this is, I, I would put this on your to-do list. Um, this book is uh, so it's a book called Behind the Cloud by Mark Benioff, and this is the story of how uh, Salesforce pretty much went to a billion dollar company and changed the whole industry. That, that's kind of what the tagline says, anyway. And um, and it's amazing. It's, it's it's a great book. And what it is, it's a series of what they call plays, like play one, play two, play three, but of the different plays that they made to be able to go and do what they did. And as I make no mistake, like I am one hundred percent trying to change the MLM industry, which is what I've been selling in. And, uh, I, I have, um, I, I just, I don't, I don't know. It's call it a chip off the shoulder attitude or a chip off the shoulder, um, uh, thing <laughs> that industry. It's an amazing thing to go through if you're doing it correctly, you know, if you're doing it right. And, um, uh, otherwise it's, it's pretty easy to get categorized into the millions of people that just want to lose their family and friends, which is why they join one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, some strong opinions there. Anyway, so I've been getting a lot of uh, requests from people, though, um, about an affiliate program for the course that I've been selling. And, and of course, I'm going to have one. Of course, I'll be, uh, absolutely. In fact, I think it's going to come out. We technically already finished it. We te- Technically, it's already done. Um, yeah, anyway, technically, it's already done. But, but, um... Yeah, and, and anyway, sorry, I have like 13 thoughts going through my head and I'm trying to organize them in a way that this can go together. Anyway, I want to read a section from this book and then tie it back into what what I was just saying and talking about, okay? And and here it is, is, um, you know, it says on page 73 in the book Behind the Cloud and what it says, the section is called uh, play, f- play Number 40, um, make every customer a member of your sales team. And I thought, I, you know, this is awesome. I certainly agree with this 100%. And make every customer a member of your sales team. And and this is what it says. Just as we tapped into every employee as a marketing person, okay, that's very, first of all, very powerful line. Just as we tapped into every employee as a marketing person, we believe that every customer should also, uh, could also serve as a salesperson. Inside every customer, there's unrealized potential by, by offering training and support we could build a sales army that was not limited to a finite number of salespeople, but could scale to hundreds of thousands and one day millions of customer salespeople. I thought that was fascinating. That's very interesting. Um, now, that's obviously the reason you do the affiliate stuff. But I was, I was, I'm, I'm not, I'm never not thinking about what I do, guys. It's, <laughs> I think it's the reason why that guy saw me as giddy. But I was walking around. I can't remember when it was. It was a few nights ago. I was just kind of, I was pacing, you know, and I was thinking. And I was pacing, and I started thinking through. I helped create um, one of the original um, affiliate boot camp courses um, that Russell uses to teach people how to do affiliate marketing. And he and I tag teamed back and forth along with John Parks, and the three of us went through and we taught this, frankly, really awesome affiliate. It's called Affiliate Boot Camp. And, um, and what it does is it teaches somebody how to be an affiliate if they've never been one before from scratch with no list, you know, or if you do have a list, it shows that as well. But the real thing that it's doing is it's showing people 
It's showing people how to be an affiliate for ClickFunnels. That's really what it is. It's it's positioned as generic, but what it's really doing is it goes through and it shows people, yes, here's how you promote ClickFunnels for us. Here's like this is how you you know, it's really to make customer salespeople. Customer salespeople, right? Uh, where they, they love your stuff so much, and it even goes through in the book, keeps talking about different training and, and, and support and stuff like that, enough assets the person needs so that they can be a customer salesperson. And so what I've been thinking through, and, and um, uh, actually Vox rustled about this, and he, I was tracking, chatting about it, but I think I'm going to make my own version of Affiliate Bootcamp. You know where I can go through and dive deep, and it, it's it's a, a daily thing for just two weeks. But what it does is it shows people how to uh, how to be an affiliate in the best ways that that we've ever seen, that I know how, that we've ever you know from scratch or with a list. But really, what it's doing is it's showing people how to promote my stuff. I'm creating an army of an affiliates that know how to be an affiliate. You know what I mean? And I think that's what the ne- next thing I'm going to do. And I, I, it might be weird that I'm telling you this strategy because I know a lot of you guys will probably be the ones that go through it. But I'm just trying to be transparent and show you where my head is on this stuff. Now, first and foremost, right now, I need to finish actually building, finish building the actual course that I've been selling, right? And they know that it's been dripping out this first round. You know, in the future, it's not going to be a drip course or anything like that. But kind of right now, this first one, it is. And they all know that. And that's one of the reasons why some of them got a deal on it and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, because I'm going through and I'm building it as um, as I'm selling it at the same time, which is nice because it lets me go through and do the second round of course creation to plug in all the holes because they're making it kind of with me, you know, unintended, you know, un- uh, um, not so much on their side. You know, they don't really know that's what that's what's going on there. But that's what I'm doing. And then uh, then so step one, then step two, then I want to go out and man, we just got offered huge lists from people uh, uh, to go promote the course to. I mean, massive, massive people. I, I, I so bad want to tell you some of the names of these people. You guys all know them. They're on TV shows and stuff, which I'm super excited about. But uh, uh, I don't know if I'm allowed to, so I'm not going to yet. You all hear about it sometimes, sure. I'm sure, but uh, it's not time yet, and I don't think so. Anyway, that's what that's the whole thing I'm trying to say with this thing is that is, – is, <clears throat> Understand that when somebody buys your course, there's really two things, or, or your program, or your product, whatever it is, whatever you're selling, your offer, right? Um, uh, there's really two things that still have to happen. Just because you you collected cash does not mean the sale is over, okay? There's two things that need to happen, and and this first one, uh, there's a there's a fat event this week. It's the last fat event ever, which I'm kind of ex- uh, sad about. Um, I'm actually really sad about it. But um, anyway, we always I always cover this with them, and then there's kind of a second piece as well because of what Mark Benoff, uh, Benioff said. So the first after a customer is is acquired, right? The first thing that you have to do with them is you need to help them consume it. Okay, I call it a consumption series. Okay, it's a consumption sequence, a consumption series, consumption guide. And 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 what I do and what I've been building out is as soon as now let's, let's think about this for a second. Okay, so this is a webinar, and there is if you guys don't know anything about webinars, webinars there's a headline and then there's three secrets, right? So there's three secrets, and secret number one, you know, relates to the vehicle related false belief, right? Secret number two relates to the internal false belief and then secret number three is the external false belief a lot of you guys who are indoctrinated inside the click funnels regime <laughs> you guys know this stuff right you know that well all i do is because uh, all i do is let's think about this in the webinar you're going through and you're talking about secret number one secret number two secret number three right which is false belief number one false belief number two false belief number three and you're going through and you're crafting a story a sales message a product in the offer that addresses those false beliefs right that you're you're addressing a product that does that okay okay let's think about this though if that's what you're you're promising secret number 1 secret number 2 secret number 3 why not show exactly in your product where those answers also are so the first thing that i do all right the first of number of, of two things the first thing i do in this consumption guide is as soon as somebody buys my product doesn't matter if it's off of a webinar doesn't matter if it's off of like whatever I put out to them a th- at least a three-day series where the first email or piece of communication or whatever it is goes and it actually shows where to get what was promised in secret number one or the vehicle-related false belief. Okay, they don't need to be called secrets. They don't need to be. They doesn't need. You know. You know what I mean? It doesn't need to be called that same vernacular. I've called them steps. I've called them. Uh, um, 
uh i've called them steps a lot actually uh tips i've called them you know what i mean it doesn't need to be called those things and you might sell a widget in a different way with kind of different vernacular but there's still vehicle internal and external related false beliefs so the first thing after somebody buys that i send to them is first of all a fulfillment email but then number what i'm really doing is something a, a consumption guide where the first email is where to find what was promised and addressed for their vehicle related false belief so you can number one Right. The second email that I send out is is uh, uh, the uh, that's that's secret number two, right? And where to find that? So I'll take screenshots of the members area with arrows and put it in the email and say, look, when I told you how I blank without blank, you know, this is where that is. So go click right here and go watch this next part right there. And the reason that I'm doing it is is um, there's many reasons. The first reason is because I need them to consume that information. Number one, it, they must feel in their brain like I'm consuming, I'm sorry, that I'm fulfilling on what I promised. Duh. Okay, that's what they bought. Of course I should do that. Okay, they bought that. Just out of the ethics of it, please fulfill on what you sell people, right? <laughs> but what I'm also doing is I am indoctrinating them further into my culture, okay? It gives me opportunity to train them to open my emails it gives me opportunity to train them to, to when when my stuff comes in they should open it up but also it helps me understand it helps me uh uh be able to figure out who the the rock stars are who's actually killing it who the people are that are just doing amazing with my course or my product whatever it is and then i can go back and actually i can actually collect them as testimonials and use them in the sales message also for future people that makes sense okay that that's that was a lot <laughs> let me just high level recap real quick so all i'm doing is whatever secret number one two and three are i create a consumption series number one two and three that matches secret number one two and three does that make sense and it's all auto it's all dripped out when somebody buys i call it my buyer sequence okay they buy first the fulfillment email goes out then we will you know remind them that they got to get added to the group then we'll remind them here's what we do culturally here's the different events that go on here's here's uh here's consumption number one two and three i don't call that that in front of them obviously does that make sense so that's that's the first thing that i do number one i train them on how to consume my thing that's like the, the highest level of that okay i train them to consume the product but number two Okay, and this is what ties in. I'm, I promise this is not just like a rabbit. I'm falling over the place. Uh, there's a whole point to this. And the point is that the second thing is that I'm trying to train them how to b- promote my thing also. So number one, here's how to consume it so you're successful with it. Number two, here's how to promote it so that the course you just bought is free for you because you just go get a few people in and, uh, and, and suddenly... All the training, all the material, all the follow-up, all everything is free for you. Does that make sense? Because what I've been doing, and, and I was, anyway, that's exactly what Mark Benioff was saying. I'm trying to create customer sales people. It's not necessarily a huge focus of mine right now, but I know it's step two, and I know it's coming up, and people are asking for it. And so I was thinking to myself, like, what would I, what should I do to make this more accessible for people? And so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking through, like, inside my affiliate area. I'm creating the guide. I'm creating the stuff that, that, that will walk them through how, how to be a generic affiliate but that, so that they can go apply it to, to selling my course for me as well. Does that make sense? That was a lot of stuff, and I hope that made sense what I'm doing. But like, it's, it's, um, it's important to train people how to consume your stuff, and then it's important to help them realize if you want to make real true believers, people are really drinking the Kool-Aid, you know what I mean? Those are the people who are out promoting your thing without you asking them to. And for those of them who aren't, sometimes they just need a few questions answered, and so you go create like an affiliate program. Go create something that helps people understand. So I, I love Backpack. Backpack's awesome. Um, I, I, I actually, that's what I'm using, of course. Um, and uh, it's been a ton of fun. Um, and so to make it more more accessible for people, um, this is the last piece, guys. I, this is like a deep strategy episode, guys. I hope this is okay. <laughs> it's kind of a lot of stuff on this one, but... What I've been doing is um, on the home page. Okay, so it's a webinar, right? So on the registration page itself, the actual registration page, in the footer, I always make sure that I put two things in there. Number one, you got to make sure you have all the legal crap in there, okay? Um, you're supposed to have that stuff in there. I have a PO box that I declare as my business address so that no, so it's not my actual address. Um, I've got, uh, you know, there has to be terms, privacy, contact, support, you know, stuff like that. Um, spe- specifically terms and privacy and support. The, those are the three 
um, that should always be the, in there. I don't know what the current laws are on all the things, but I know that those should be in there. And then what I do though in the footer is I also always include number one, the login for their actual members area or whatever they bought because people will always lose the link. So I put it down in the bottom. The second thing though that I always put down there is a link for affiliates. So what it does is it lets me uh, tell people like, because some people just want to go promote the thing and not buy it, you know, and I'm like, all right, that's kind of, I think it's a little weird. But uh, uh, if they scroll down to the bottom and they just click on affiliates, they can get their affiliate link and promote the course and, and uh, or promote whatever, you know what I mean? And uh, anyway, so those are the those are the two things that, and that's kind of what helps close the loop. Okay, so it doesn't, it, that, uh, that registration page, it is a registration page, but to the person who's looking, it's a little bit more than a registration page and it opens up another loop, meaning the loop is, hey, you can go be an affiliate, grab your affiliate link and here's how to promote and here's how to promote my stuff, you know? But if then they go buy, it's like, hey, here's how to consume what you bought. By the way, here's also how you can promote what you, anyway. So that, that's what I've been doing. I feel like I'm talking in circles now. <laughs> I'm literally talking about loops. <laughs> but I hope that, um, I uh, hope that makes sense what I'm talking about though. Uh, find a way to make your customer also your salesperson. And um, uh, you're gonna be able to expand a lot faster simply because you don't have to find salespeople. You know what I mean? As as, as hard as as, as, as much. Um, uh, some of the, it, it's pretty interesting. I, I was talking to, this is the last point and then I'll, I'll get out of here. Um, I was talking to uh, the CFO of ClickFunnels. Uh, he's the man. And, uh, and I asked him once, I was like, what's the biggest expense? And uh, without any hesitation, he said affiliates. <laughs> Just straight up, it's affiliates. <laughs> affiliates cost us a lot of money. We give a lot of money to affiliates. I was like, that makes sense. That makes total sense. That's what he told me anyway about ClickFunnels, that uh, that, that, that would happen you'd do that. Um, anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope it makes sense what I was trying to say here. Well, all I'm trying to say is figure out number one, uh, oh, sorry, number one, understand that uh, it's not enough to just sell stuff to people. You have to teach them to consume it. But number two, especially once they are consuming it, they're getting indoctrinated. They love promoting stuff. And, and there's going to be people who just want to promote your stuff anyway. They're looking for something to give to their audience. Um, and uh, uh, might as well make a sweet affiliate program, you know, or some kind of thing to help them so that you can arm your people, arm your customers with the correct assets that they need, the correct, you know what I mean? So I'm tossing in all the, uh, I'm tossing in a whole bunch of swipe files, tons of swipe images, tons of swipe email content and copy, you know, cool things that they can give away to help them lead gen. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Um, and, uh, hopefully you can go out and uh, start applying that. We have to, I got to go get ready. We're leaving about an hour here. <laughs> go figure out the gender of our new little one. So fun stuff guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to Sales Funnel Radio. Please remember to subscribe and leave feedback. Want to get one of today's best internet sales funnel for free? Go to salesfunnelbroker.com slash free funnels to download your pre-built sales funnel today. 